Hi everyone, Emma here. I am getting ready to paint these buttons that I got from Kelly's Bee Boutique. They were, um, she wasn't happy with the way, the quality of them, so she has them for sale for 15 cents each. So I bought a hundred of them and I, when I first got them, I went ahead and tested it with acrylic paint so this is the pink one that I did so I just went ahead and painted the whole thing pink like the top part and then took some steel wool and rubbed it off and that's what I got so I thought that turned out pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and paint these buttons um, there's another one not as good as the first one then I use some, uh, this is a aqua, uh, aqua green, looks a bit turquoise, I did that one, so that turned out really good, and then on this button, I did the same thing, and that, I feel, turned out amazing, so, um, I don't think I, uh, lacquered, or I, I, uh, put varnish on these, so I think if I put varnish on it, they would be a little more shiny um, or glossy. So they're just a tiny bit flat, but that's fine. It, it gives it that kind of chalk-like look, like chalk paint. And one of the colors I pulled out is black. And surprisingly, even though these were initially supposed to be black, this is the effect that I'm going for with that. So let's see if we can, I might um, actually test it on this button. So this button I bought was just straight up silver, but you can see there are some, looks like they tried to do some patina on it, but I'd like to do it really striking like this one. So, cause these turned out nice. This is really turned out awesome. So we'll put that aside for now. In the meantime, um, I started going through them and some like this one has some black paint and I tried uh, taking it off and it does come off with a little bit of elbow grease, but I think here's one that's really bad. You can see the paint blotches and then it didn't go into those. So some of it comes off with your nail. And I have gloves on because it's pretty messy with the paint because the buttons are so small to hang on to. So yeah, that comes off pretty easy with your nail. So um, yeah, I just made a few piles there. I'm going to get going and see what I can come up with. One of the other thing, Okay, so I have just basic acrylic paint. And I also have some liquid acrylics. So I'm going to try the liquid acrylics. They they look a bit like um, alcohol inks. I think I had done this. This is burnt umber. There's a sepia one. Raw sienna. Sepia. I did the uh, sepia on something else that was metal and I can't think of what it was but it was jewelry related and it really turned out amazing and actually I think there was an orange one too now that I think of it so let's take some orange out it it made the the metal look like a metallic orange so let's try those um, maybe we'll put a paper towel down So I'm just going to use, these come with uh, eyedroppers, so I'm just going to use the eyedropper and put it on see what see what ends up happening. I'm not really sure, I can't remember what it was I did this with. So 
Oh, I could just leave it. Put that one there. I'll wait for it to dry a bit and maybe rub it off with just a paper towel. Try the sepia one. Ooh. Here, let's just. <laughs> There's no point messing around. Just. <laughs> let's get messy. Uh, let's do another one. <laughs> get rid of that paint. It's a good thing I have gloves on. The last time I did this, I only did about 10 buttons and my hands were filthy. Okay, I need another paper towel here. I'm going to end up having to... Ch oh, there's a big hole in my glove. I've never had that happen before. These are old gloves that have been sitting around forever. So who knows? Let's try some blue ones. Do two of them. I may have to rub that on, I think. Yeah. Actually looks pretty cool already. But these ones I'm definitely going to um, do uh, varnish them. How does this one look? Yeah, i to put some more on. I think I'm going to ditch these gloves. There, I have some fresh gloves. I'll put this away. Oh, you know what I do have? I have some gold, and I've actually never used this before because I bought it so that I could do pen and ink artwork and it's not the correct ink for that so it uh, I wasn't able to use it so let's see what it does to this metal Stopper's not working. The hole must be plugged. I might have to dip my brush in there. You know what? I'm just going to pour it. Oh, it's thick. That's why it's not working. Let's do two. And we'll do another one. Because there's a lot of ink there. Well, it's not ink, it's actually acrylic, liquid acrylic. So that's probably why I couldn't use it for my pen and ink. The uh, pen wouldn't draw it up just like that stopper wouldn't draw it up. It's kind of thick. Okay, so now let's try the paint. I'm going to move these here, let them dry, and 
I'll put this down and do the others. Let's get them ready. Let's try. This one's bronze. I'm just going to take it right out of the tube. Normally I don't take my paint out of the tube that way. <laughs> but these are old paints. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks at all. And it's not really doing much. It could be because it's old. This is kind of gross. Oh, we'll leave it and then we'll cover it with a different color. Don't like that at all. Let's get rid of that stuff off my brush. And another paper towel. This is, um, It's interesting, it feels like it's more work than when I first got them, but of course when I first got them I was so excited, I'm like, ooh, let's just grab this, let's grab that. Makes it a little easier. Okay, let's, I think the silver will be better. It's pretty thick too, I don't know if that's too much. So I could buy the vintage patina, but I've been trying to do some research on it and I really don't see how different it is from acrylic paint. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And I feel like it's a little expensive for what it is. So, there, that's not too bad. Yeah, so that's why I'm doing this. And the, the using um, the acrylic paint, the different colors, I found one, there's more variety, and two, um, I like the colors better. So... Okay, we're going to do the gold and then we're uh, and we'll do some black and then we're going to move on to the color paints those ones are super really nice yeah i don't know that this is much different than the other thing it's a little lighter but it doesn't really look gold to me like gold paint And, I mean, these are really cheap paints, too, so. Okay. Let's try these black. So, I have two different blacks. I've got Mars black. I was going to say Mars black and Jupiter black. <laughs> uh, ivory black. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I'm laughing at my own jokes here. Okay. So some of them I like better than others. The I really don't like the Mars black when I'm painting. I feel like it maybe it's the ivory. One of them has like a chalky look to it. So I um, I'm gonna try both and see what we get with it. So that's really good coverage. On that. And actually so far sitting here on the paper towel, they look pretty good. I bet you they're gonna turn out really nice. 
and the other ones are drying like I said they kind of like a, a glossy metallic yeah it looks like it's the ivory that has that like chalky look to it off the paintbrush oh I'm gonna have to clean it some more after using the black let's see if we can okay and make sure my hands are clean okay I'm gonna get rid of these alcoholics for now Give me some more space here. Okay, I have these colors put out because I used them before and they turned out really nice. So I think we will do five of each. Let's, we'll do the turquoise last. So this one here is called bleach titanium i don't know if i used that on the last one what i'm going to do i'm going to put some on the bead and then move to the others with the brush um i really like the color bleach titanium Now that I think of it, I don't think I did use this one. So I don't know why it was on my desk, but maybe I had intentions. Oh, okay, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> and I didn't want to do that. I mean, not that it matters, because whatever came off is going to come off anyway, so... But you never know how things are going to look, so it's really, you know, nice to try all the different colors. Get a bit more here. I do um, want to cover the black of the old paint in the patina. Oh, this brushes. The hairs are coming out of this brush. This is a um, Artist Loft. That's the uh, Michaels brand. And uh, this is a, a very specific brush. What do they call it? Scrumbler. And I do some painting scrumbling so I definitely need a brush like this. Yeah, we'll keep going. One more or two more, I mean. Hope this isn't too boring for everyone. I uh, I guess I could update you on what's been going on. So both my wife and I went to the dentist and um, she had her checkup after her molar extraction and she now has to go for a bone graft and an implant so but other than that everything looks okay um, the dentist did say that her uh, lack of energy was probably due to the infection and the antibiotic So, and of course, she, she's napping right now. It's a good thing I have hobbies. I'd be like, come on, come play with me. 
What do you mean you need to sleep? Okay. Nobody wants to play with me. <laughs> so we used to say to my, my mom, there was nine of us kids. She's like, I think you have enough people to play with. Okay. Let's do some pink. Because I love pink. So for my, uh, oh, that's a lot. Let's get these guys going here. I, um, you know what? <laughs> I didn't realize there's no light. <laughs> that's better. Um, yeah, I, uh, so I had a sore tooth and uh, one of my molars and I was like nervous that oh boy this one's gonna have to get pulled and uh, so the x-ray showed oh uh, the x-ray showed that I had um, a trauma to the tooth so that would be something like um, biting too hard down on something so I couldn't remember anything that I was eating that was hard so um, she also noticed that my teeth um, the top and lower bang into each other so she went ahead and shaved them down a bit so that they weren't touching and as soon as she did that it felt a hundred times better so hopefully that's all it is no infection don't want to have to go on antibiotics if I can help it so that's a relief oh and then we went so yesterday we bought a new recliner couch and we went to a bunch of different places and we were also looking for a mattress so the first place we went to had a really good deal on an excellent quality mattress so we bought that and we bought the couch uh, the so it's mandatory to wear masks now anywhere inside so, uh, so yeah, I mean, we can shop now and, uh, the, um, it's good for businesses so they can, you know, keep, keep going. I have noticed that a lot of, um, businesses like, uh, we went to Winners and we went to Marshall's to look for sheets for the new mattress and uh they um there's barely thing barely anything in the stores so yeah i uh i'm guessing that they're trying to just get rid of that stock and i think too because there's not many people shopping that places that have multiple locations are closing down after they end up with very little stock that's the only thing I could think of because there's not enough shopping going on for sorry about that for um, the store to be open I mean there was a few more people in there today but not enough pay the wages and to pay the rent and so sadly like nobody wants to see businesses go under we uh, we don't have a lot here anyway when it comes to shopping here in Nova Scotia so the biggest cities are Halifax and Dartmouth I'm in Dartmouth and they're they're only separated by the harbor so that you take a bridge to get across 
Um, so it's like nothing to go shopping at a mall that's in Dartmouth or Halifax. But um, yeah, we only have one major mall in Halifax and one major mall in Dartmouth. And uh, I mean, if you think of what's in the mall, it's a lot of um, specialty stores, clothing stores, shoe stores, things like that. Uh, maybe one anchor store, like a department store type. But uh, so we don't have, we had Target here and they had to close them down. They had issues of um, supply. They couldn't stock the shelves. It was weird. So they never did get going at all. And, you know, here they had renovated all these rental uh, stores inside the malls and then they had to close down. So they lost a lot of money. I can't remember how many million they said across Canada. They had the same problem everywhere. So it's online shopping. <laughs> Which, you know what, I've done some online clothing shopping at uh, on Amazon. And I did pretty good. Now, I most of my shopping is... Um, sports clothing so yoga tights and um, shorts t-shirts so it's not too bad but uh, I don't know like if you were working and you needed work clothes I can't imagine doing that kind of ordering online so, and I've, I've ordered stuff from Old Navy and oh, I spent a couple of hundred in clearance stuff and then I ended up having to um, return actually the, the more expensive items I ended up returning because they you know they were they said they were large and when I got them they were they looked like a child size of small I'm wondering what other colors. So let's try. Um, let me see if I have any orange here. I do. I'm going to try and do like a rust patina. Maybe. What's this one? What is this color? It's kind of a super bright orange. Let's try that. This is the yucky, messy. <laughs> I guess it could be worse. It could be all over my fingers. Isn't it funny? Some days I don't care. And then other days I don't want my hands dirty at all. And that light is a touch light. So my arm is right next to the button. So I keep knocking it. Um, yeah, I think for those, we'll let them dry and then add some patina on it. Some like darker brown, reddish colors. Um, yeah, so the, maybe the red oxide. Let's see what that looks like. It's a bit dark, dark brown. Okay. What's this cat red? 
You know what? Let's try it. They're hearts, after all. It should be red. Ooh, that's beautiful. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one could be really nice. And it's got like um, a pink tone to it. Let's see if we can put that down without dropping it there. I'm going to do another one. I really like that. Let's do some turquoise blues. Now I have to remember too, like, I guess these will be more tests than anything, so that once I find ones I like, then I can recreate it. But the one thing I'm finding is I'm still having a hard time choosing a um, button for uh, men. So if I can do some colors that are more suited, well, I have some, let's do these first and then we'll move on to the turquoise and the green. I think I need another paper towel here. This one is uh, medium magenta. Ooh, that's an interesting pink. Oh yeah, that's nice. So it looks like um, the BB Craft orders, there's only one left to come, and that's the one where I um, they sent the stuff to me for free, and then I have to do some videos for them. And what I ordered was some gemstones, and um, let's do another one here, and some tassels. Some cording and I think that's it so I'm gonna do some more malas but I think this time I'm gonna do rather than string the mala I'll do like a knotted tutorial and then I'll do a Bodhi bracelet and that's just basically a bracelet that you use to meditate with I think it's 21 um, beads and the idea it's you, you however you do it you end up with 
108 for your meditation so you repeat it multiple times so, so yeah and then I see that my AliExpress orders I'm starting to get notices saying that they've arrived in Canada so I'm really surprised because their site says 20 to 60 days I think so uh, I, I can't imagine like once it arrives in Canada it's not going to go any slower than our regular mail so I should get it soon who knows but um, yeah so I have a bunch of tutorials I want to do and there's a few things that I started doing and did one video and then had to move on to some other stuff that I want to get back to so um, the um, wire wrapping with the beads in the necklaces uh, oh with the conchos I have those all set out ready to go so I'll do those I may do those soon actually and then the um, the leather wrap bracelets with the little birds I have about four different um, color ways of those so I want to do those as well and they're they're sitting out on a tray ready to go so it's just a matter of sitting down and, and doing it so maybe once I get all this cleared up we can start moving on some of those um, and yeah there's there's a bunch of other uh, tutorials that I'd like to do okay so I'm going to use this phthalo blue I find that the phthalo blue to me looks turquoise Oh, I guess no it's it's pretty dark it's more of a teal now that I think of it so let's go ahead and try that You can see the black through here. <laughs> My, you know, when we were shopping for the uh, couch and the bed, my wife was getting sentimental because she said, "Do you realize this is?" our first official repurchase of furniture since we've been together so we bought furniture when we got the house and then now we're at the point of having to replace that furniture so I thought that was funny and she was like well I guess you know we bought a house together and multiple cars together <laughs> like yeah the big ticket items <laughs> and you're stuck on a couch <laughs> The funny part is, I have a funny story I could tell you about a couch. When we first met, um, I had a house actually close by. And um, she was living in an apartment. And um, I didn't have a couch. I had just moved in. So I didn't have time to buy furniture. And uh, she was helping. We had met one week earlier and she was helping a friend move so they had a u-haul truck and this person um it was actually her ex was getting rid of a love seat that was in really good shape but just couldn't use it anymore 
So when she went to pick up her boys, um, her ex said, oh, do you want this couch? Do you think anybody you know could use it? She's like, actually, I do know somebody who needs a couch. So she called me and uh, I said, yeah, I'm, if you could use this couch, I'll drop it off with the boys. So <laughs> she uh, showed up with a U-Haul and her two sons. And of course, the joke about lesbians is what do lesbians bring on a second date? A U-Haul. And, uh, yeah, so here she shows up with her two sons, and they were teenage sons, big guys. And they didn't even knock on the door. They just waltz right in, and they started quizzing me. What are your intentions with our mother? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, they asked me all kinds of questions. I thought it was hilarious. But yeah, so that's funny. And then another story about us first dating. Um, it is so small town here, and the big joke is everybody knows everybody. So I was on this pretty popular cycling trail. And uh, again, it was like a week after I started dating my wife and uh, I was cycling and I stopped on a bridge over the salt marsh and I was looking at the cranes out in the water and this guy who was a cyclist too, he stopped and he was looking at him and he was talking to me and offering me food and he um, he started inviting me to join the cycling club because he was the president of the cycling club in uh, in this city, and uh, so I said, "Oh, my girlfriend is part of the cycling club." He goes, "Oh, who's your girlfriend?" <laughs> and I told him, "He's like, oh, I know Jennifer." She's really fast. <laughs> so when I saw Jennifer, I was like, <laughs> so the president of the Velo Bike Club thinks you're fast. <laughs> She's like cracking up. So that's what I mean by small town. And everybody, when they start talking to you, if you don't know them, they're like, oh, do you know so-and-so or... Uh, Who's your father, or where do you work, and and they know. Y you can usually make some connection, so it's pretty funny. Ooh, I just saw something that happened. Some of the blue, the teal blue, I think it was, and the green together is kind of cool looking. So let me. Uh, finish this one up and I'll add some blue see how that looks that'll be a good happy accident where is that one that be the phthalo I think starting to look like a work of art here all the splotches okay let me see I'm gonna Squeeze a bit out. There. Well, that might be too much. I have a palette here. Yeah. I'll do it like that. Okay. We have, s you know what? 
I don't have that many left over here, so there's probably about 30 buttons left. Um, so I think I'll leave it at that, and I can go through these. We'll wait till they dry. I'll pause it, and when it's dry, I'll come and start using the um, steel wool, and we'll see what we come up with. And yeah, let's try that. Okay, so I used the heat gun on some of them to uh, get it really. Let me see if I can do this this way. So my arms. Okay, so let's try. This is the. Um, I think it's gold. Looks like it's coming off. Yeah. yeah, this doesn't look like it's coming off. Hmm. That's really sticky. So this was the uh, the um, liquid acrylics. So that's interesting. It's like glue, which is good in one sense because I might have to get a stronger. I have some sandpaper somewhere here. Let me grab it. Okay, I have um, a sanding block for drywall. <laughs> so uh, let's try that. I have to get one of those uh, blocks, like the vintage block, but I think you can use a, um, a nail. It's really uh, hard to get off. Still not working. Let's try the sandpaper. So I think for the alcohol, or the I keep wanting to say alcohol inks, the liquid acrylics. What I will need to do is um, wipe it off before it dries, and then you can always buff it up because this does not want to come off at all. But it's uh, looking pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually getting there. So let me just see if I can kind of buff that up a bit. it off. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. So it doesn't look gold anymore. It looks more like that, uh, like a little darker than the buff titanium. So let's put that there. Now one of the things I did notice, these blue ones look incredible. Just like that. So I did two of these, so I think I'll leave one. I'm almost tempted to leave the second one, but I'll leave one and I'll try and buff up this other one to see what effect I get. Let's try the steel wool. It could be just the specific container because, uh, yeah, so this one came off. Look at that. That's awesome. Let's do this part of the button. 
So, you know, I wonder if this was that tube that I was saying was really gloopy. Sorry, that one. That gold uh, bottle. I think this one, we're losing all the color now. I should have left it just the heart. So I'll have to go back over it and redo it because I'm not really getting too much. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, next let's try this gold. I'm tempted to leave the heart gold and take out the rest. Let's try that. Just go in and take this stuff off. Yeah, this stuff doesn't want to come off. It's coming off the um, the edges. Now oh, this stuff is really on there. Good. Um, let's try this. Nope, that's not doing a thing. Try the sandpaper. We're running out of time here, so let's, um, let's put that aside. I will work on that. Um, yeah, these are really adhering to the... Um, there's the orange. That was, this, again, this is all the, um, the liquid acrylic. Here's the silver. The silver looks really good. Just like that. So these, I, I think, if I use the liquid acrylics, I would create something like this, where it's all one color. So, so I'll, I'll work on these, and I'll do a reveal. These ones turned out really nice. That was the sepia. That looks really cool. And I did one that was even darker than that. That's not too bad. So let's try. These are the regular acrylics. And yeah, they come off super easy. So that's, I'll have to be aware that the um, liquid acrylics either need to be wiped right away or do a complete coverage. But there, this looks beautiful. Look at that. Let's quickly do a um, the buff titanium. It's really nice so this lets you know and then I'll go ahead and spray these with the um, varnish but what it tells me is that we can uh, you know basically do any color you want so I'm just gonna do a few quickly here So 
and there's the green. I might refine that a little bit. Let's do the orange here, see how that turned out. didn't realize this is going to be this hard on my thumb so one of those jobs maybe to leave <laughs> for another time or get assistance the orange looks pretty good that's really nice and uh, let's do this blue over here This one's not, uh, maybe if I did this one thicker, right now it just seems like it's all coming off so you're not really getting too much of an effect. What is it? Oh, black. Let's try the black. We have three minutes left before my tablet shuts me down. So I think too what I could do is initially when I did these buttons is I wiped it off a lot and then buffed it so that might be the way to go it's less rubbing for my hand so that one's not too bad I mean part of it is there's not a lot of uh, relief sections on these buttons so you're limited right pretty good. I love this green. My, one of my favorite lime green is just so gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That's really nice. These are turning out really nice. Try we have two minutes left. I'm sure we can get this. Ooh, the reds looking nice. It might be easier too with one of those blocks, the proper, <laughs> the proper equipment for the job. <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome. That's really nice. Uh, what other color? Purple, this one is sticky still. So hopefully it's cooled off enough I can go for a bike ride, get some exercise. I've been doing um, keto since I had surgery on my gallbladder uh, a year and a half ago and I've lost 70 pounds so it's important to exercise and I'm still doing the keto so there we go so there's the this one here and we're just about done. So it's just so that's the look. It has like a metallic look. So these turned out pretty good. Look at that! Beautiful. Thanks for joining me. I hope this wasn't too boring. Um, definitely some of the other. Uh, Tutorials I'm coming up with are a little more interactive things that you can pause get your your supplies and do with me So thanks everyone stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye